Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You tune into the Market Beast Edition, fellow compadre speaking. And today we'll be exploring, as the title suggests, Microvision Stock, ticker symbol MVIS. We're going to go over some technical details and just do a really quick follow up on our previous video to see if everything came to fruition. If you're new here, welcome in. We actually nailed this call. Well, I. We're going to get some details here. Just consider hitting the subscribe button if you find any valuable information. Lord, subscribers, welcome back. YouTube algorithm picking up on the channel due to your engagement. Appropriate thumbs and comments. Thank you. So let's see what we have here. And uh, let's dive right into the charts here, shall we? All right. So today's March the 10th, 2021. And the current price of Microvision stock is going to be $14.36. It's up approximately 1.9% for the day all right all right ladies and gentlemen what we're going to do is uh revisit our previous video and uh let you all know that the recent price activity if you notice there uh, this is uh february the 21st 2021 i just want to show you see that little fibonacci retracement there right in the middle of the uh the screen so i want to make sure that we're all on the same page in terms of me uh having this on the chart look at the time of the video it was actually posted to the the price was, can't talk, $20.50, if you could see that. So let's go ahead and reveal the lines. It actually looks a lot better, not as messy. Here it is. That's it. Really simple. It's beautiful. Look at that. I love this. Uh, these are my uh, Fibonacci retracements in like little uh, white rectangular boxes. Man, this looks so good. All right, let's get to the details here. The overhead yellow line is going to be at $28.14. This is actually the target that I'm going to assume that can take place after the markets are finished uh, retracing here. Is it finished guarantee right now? I'm not sure, guys. It, it does appear that the market players have stepped into this market. And again, as we showed you on that previous video, notice the Fibonacci retracement is at about 1346. We said that the markets could retrace down to that level again when the price was like $20. And I know some are saying, dude, you, you got it wrong. Yeah, I, I do agree with you because there was some um, extreme selling going on because notice how this uh, these are daily candles by the way notice how the daily candle waked all the way down to the 786 and um, wall street they love to buy at the 786 as well so it had a really nice bounce out that 786 but notice this daily candle actually closed above the 618 okay at 13 dollars and 46 cents take a minute to listen to the other video guys just make sure you guys know i'm not just making that up if you're just kind of stopping in to make sure that we're actually staying consistent and we're not just making up stuff okay so if we do a quick comparison to uh back here back in what is this december the 22nd 2020 of uh, this kind of this in total range what i'm looking for now is for the price action to stay above the 618 okay so let's just kind of zoom in here and just close this video a uh, really short video thank you for your time guys notice how it kind of came up topped out and went down and it just kind of came to that 618 beautiful balance off that you see the price activity that's so beautiful and then it kind of went up and then it kind of found its way the buyers like okay let's get out of here and it just kind of continued the th thrust and uh, of course the ease has pushed the price back down to the 618 so what I'm looking to see now is the price do some essentially the same thing. Of course, it uh, had a most recent high. I can't say top out. Okay, the most recent high. And, of course, it's just kind of finding financial support right now. And I think the financial support should be sufficient near or just above or maybe just a spike below the 618, which is, again, this white line right here, uh, $13.46. So over the course of the next week, five market days, maybe a little bit more, as long as the price activity is staying above the relative range of 1346, then yeah, it's likely going to uh, do the same thing it has done in the past. It'll just kind of walk up the stairs, make its way back up to the 0 0.382. All right. And that's at seventeen dollars and fifty five cents. And of course, just kind of, you know, continue the overall trajectory. And the one way that I was able I know on the, on the previous video, if you guys are just kind of coming back from the other video. We said that the price can get all the way up to like 70 something dollars. Yes. Um, our practical target for microvision stock is still $38. Okay. Uh, we did find an extreme target about $75, but the most conservative price target that I just found with uh, my Fibonacci retracement tool measuring from the top, the most recent high, not the top, the most recent high at about $24. And then I measured it to the potential lowest point as the market has retraced. Okay. This doesn't mean that the markets cannot go lower guys be open to volatility. Okay. And that lowest level is going to be right here at about $10 and 12 cents to be totally transparent with you all guys. We are invested in micro vision stocks. So when we say like lower price targets, it's not like we're trying to get like bearish. We, we do have, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, we are invested in microvision stock. Okay. I actually have a bearish video that I will post 
only if the market is having trouble staying above $13.46. Uh, the, the bulls, the perma bulls and microvision stocks are probably going to report this channel to shut me down if they hear my price target on microvision stock. But let's take it one step at a time. If the market is staying above $13.46, then yeah, everything should be fine, guys, for the market to continue to walk up the stairs. Uh, but again, let me know. Let's just say the market is getting really nasty um, and it gets down below 1346, maybe for like a day or two. And it's starting to like really kind of sag off like an old pair. Yeah, definitely let me know and I'll give you guys an update on this. Um, again, we're invested. I mean, we're, we're just kind of playing the markets back and forth. Right. And I think we covered everything. So you have the overhead target. Hopefully, hopefully I actually explain how I got this overhead target here. Twenty eight fourteen. I'll do that really quickly. I measure from the top here. Uh, twenty four dollars. And then uh, right down here about ten dollars and I took my Fibonacci retracement and I just kind of started at the top and went down okay and then of course that's how I got the target right there you see that this is the uh, the one for my new technical guys when you put on your Fibonacci retracement tool you do the uh, 1.27 okay I know a lot of people don't really understand or even care about the Fibonacci retracement but it's actually pretty powerful guys I mean I wasn't able to understand this uh, for the sorry 1346 level without the Fibonacci retracement right so I think it's pretty powerful uh, when used properly and you understand the ebbs and the flows in the market okay that's it guys I'm not gonna take any more of your time hopefully this was useful you have the one level that the price needs to stay above 1346 let's give it about like I said five to ten market days to see how this plays out if it stays above yeah I don't see why microvision would uh, have an issue and continue the trajectory to the upside okay so let's go close it out here. Uh, take care of yourselves. Uh, wait, before you go, if you're new, uh, we also cover the alternative markets. So I'm not sure if you're into, you know, Bitcoin and altcoins, but subscribe to the bell. We'll see that information when it's available. And I think we covered everything. Yes. Good. Remember, guys, please execute your strategies out there. Um, again, I do have a bearish target for this in case things start to go south. So we'll disclose that. We'll take it one step at a time if we if necessary. So, yeah, take care of yourselves. Protect your portfolio. Execute your strategies. I can't say that enough. Okay. Um, so we'll talk very soon and bye for now.